Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a collab with one of my best friends here on YouTube and that is Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. And we have done a collab before, it was brands I really want to try, I can leave it up here and we decided to do another collab. And I was so glad when Annette asked me because she's one of my best friends here on YouTube and she's one of the most supportive friends I have on YouTube and she seems like such a nice person and so sweet. So we are doing a collab today and if you not have checked an out, an out, out, an out, out, you should really do it. She is so creative and she is so unique in her makeup style, like makeup application and the look she's doing. She's so freaking creative. I wish I had like a tins a bit of her creativity. That would be so fun. And um, we are doing a Free Looks 1 palette with the Blush Tribe and Paulina palette. And this is one of my absolute favorite palettes. It's a 9 pan palette and it looks like this. So we decided to do Free Looks 1 palette with this one and it's going to be so fun to see what Aner is doing. And I will leave her channel and video up here and down in the description. And um, say hi from me <laughs> if you're going to a net. And yeah, I really hope you will like these free looks. And we just get started because I think this is going to be a super long video. Because I can't stop talking like ever. So I really hope you will like these free looks. And don't forget to check out a net. So for my first look with a Paulina palette, I'm going to do something that I think a net maybe do as well. But I really need to do this and I'm going to use these three green shades and maybe this purple. I really not know yet. I will start with Humble and take it in my crease. And I have primed my eyes. So first I was like maybe I shouldn't take and do a green look with this palette because I think it's what if you have this palette I am like certain that you have done complete green look and I am almost certain that Annette is also going to do complete green look but the greens in this palette is so freaking nice so it's hard not to Two. So that was humble and now I'm going to take Sigge and put it out here. And I what I can remember this seems a lot darker but it's not it's not such a big difference on the eye. But I'm okay with that. I don't really don't really bothers me that much. Okay, so something like that. And I think... <laughs> okay, this was <laughs> so fast. Um, I don't want this to be a super long video because I do a lot of super long videos. I'm going to take Friends and put it in here. Like a half cut crease. And I think I want to cut my crease on this. Um, because... In my first impression with this palette, I used this, I did a halo eye and I didn't cut my crease and it worked, but I think I want to do it now because I really want it to be super bright. I am trying to make cut crease my bitch. It's working out. It's more like I am the cut crease bitch and not crease is my bitch but yeah so I <laughs> cut a uh, half cut crease and I'm going to take friends and I really want this to pop because this shade it's so freaking nice and oh my lord and I'm going to take a little bit more of Sigurd just to 
blend it out a little bit better. Okay, I am the cat crease bitch. The cat crease bitch. It's not my bitch. Because this didn't turn out completely as I wanted it to. I guess I just have to practice this and make it my bitch. Do I get a strike now because I say bitch too many times in one video? Maybe. Okay, <laughs> I'm holding like all the brushes in one hand. Then I'm going to use the concealer in the same hand. And it's hard because I have things all over. I love this friend's shade. It's like the perfect shade. I want to have it everywhere. But I think this maybe looks a little bit boring. It's not boring, but it's only green. I maybe should do something more. Um, but before I do that, I will take a little bit more of humble out here and out here I think I want something a little bit more darker so I think I will take aubergine and put it out here just a little bit and I may ruin this look now As I have said before, I really wish that you could be here with me and just like you stop that, you should not do that. Because sometimes it feels like I'm ruining, ruining my looks, but maybe this was a good idea. Maybe something like that. I think it will look better when I have everything on. So I will take away the fallouts, I will fix my base. We do the under eyes together, but I will take the same thing that I have on my lids and do like this cohesive look, is it called that? I like that now. So the face is on and I just realized I have a look in, <laughs> I think it's one video that look almost exactly the same as this. Like almost exactly the same, I can insert a picture here. I didn't use all the shadows. I have a little bit more green, uh, these French shades that I had in that look. But I love that look. And I didn't record any tutorial on it, so I don't know if it's that because of that I'm doing like the same look all over again. I am so sorry about that, but we <laughs> just have to swing it because I love this look. Um, and now I only use the Paulina palette. I didn't use it only that then. Okay, now I just babbling about something I that is not uh, according to this. So I'm so sorry if I'm doing a look that I have done before. I'm so sorry, but I really love this colors. So I am going to finish off this look, and I am going to take. I think I'm going to take Sigge underneath my eyes and then friends in here and I used my Ofra highlighter today and it was a long time ago I used that and I like forgot how pigmented it is and it feels like my video is going to be so much longer than Annette's because she is better than me to not do super long videos all the time and I am impressed by you okay maybe I should spice this up so it's just not I think I'm maybe going to take this one this is solely this one and put it in here I think that can be pretty cool and this shade is amazeballs Okay, so maybe that was a little bit better. I will take something in my waterline, I will put on lipstick and I think I will go with red. Uh, just as I did uh, like the last time I did this look, but I think that red is really nice with green eyes. So, setting spray, mascara 
and lipstick. So for lipstick I took a Liquid Courage and this is the finished look. So I didn't take the same lipsticks as I had before with like the almost same look. So <laughs> look, the first look turned out like this and I really like it. <sighs> yeah. The next look hopefully will not be as one look that I have done before. So in this look I have used four colors. So I have used these three colors and this one. So, this is the first look with the Paulina palette. So, for the second look, I think I will do purple look. I have been swatching this palette for like crazy, but I think I will do a purple halo eye. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use to get out my halo. Because I don't think I need to do that with these shades but I'm not sure so I'm just going to prime my eyes first and we go from there and I have just washed my hair and I used a new shampoo and the smell is not pleasant for me so back to the palette and what we are here for for so I'm going to use I'm going to do purple halo eye did I even say that uh, so I'm going to use I want to use the halo eye is I'm going to do a real halo eye today. I usually do like the opposite, so I take the matte shade in the middle, but I don't want to do that today. Uh, I'm going to use this in the middle, tingling, tingling, not tingling, tingling, and aubergine. But in my crease, I will take angel. Okay, so easy as that, and then I'm going to take aubergine, and I'm going to take that on a bigger brush and put it out here and in here. I think if you have watched some of my sh videos, you pretty <laughs> you probably know how this will work, and even if you have seen like on Halo, I should have. This now it's not clean. I need to clean my brushes so bad. This aubergine, it feels so, it feels pretty dry in the pan, but you get payoff like crazy. And I don't mind drier shades as long as they work good, and this really, really do. And it's going to be so fun to see what. Annette is doing. She is so freaking creative. I feel so boring compared to her because <laughs> you know when you have a friend that is super good on something and you like to do the same thing but you're not as good as your friend. It feels like that. Even though Annette is one of the most supportive per persons I know. Uh, I think I already talked about this in the intro. But she's so freaking creative. So, okay, I think I took a little bit too far in there. So I think I need to cut my halo. Um, so I can have a halo. And now I'm taking this brush from my inner corner. And I think this was a bad idea. Just go with the flow. Okay, so something like this, and as you see in here, it's too much. So I think I will cut this halo. Cut out a little halo. And I will take Thingling, the shade in the middle, and I will pack this on. And I think this looks amazing, just swatched. So I think on this sticky base, it will look even more amazing, and it does. Okay, so the one thing that I'm not so good at right now with my newly started cutting things on my eyes, I get such a sharp line, 
and I think Annette that you are going to have a great solution for me here because you always do because you are a supporting and helping friend maybe I can just go over it I need like more hands when I was on Instagram it was like this question thing and it was like do you need free hands or free feet and I like give me five hands please okay I think I am pretty satisfied with this I think this looks pretty good I like how bright it is I got a crazy amount of fallouts but right now I don't care and I don't know do I want the purple okay I take just the thing that I have on the brush and take it over with the purple and maybe I shouldn't have done that okay I'll go over it with the fingerling Okay, so how is this for a halo? I think it turned out pretty good. So I will do the same thing on this eye and you don't need to, you don't have to see me do this again. <laughs> so I will just do the same on this eye and then I will be back. And I can also take away my fallouts, fix my base. So I fix this eye like this eye, take away my fallouts, fix my base and then come back and do something on the eyes, but a little hint. So I will come back when everything is fixed. I don't know why I do this all the time. I do it at work as well. I like talk with my hands and it's annoying the crap out of me but I can't stop. Uh, so I'm back and I am... I said that I was going to do the same <laughs> on my lower lash but I've changed my mind. I think I want to take something green just to... That something's happening. Maybe so I think I will take. Okay, this is our. I think I will take humble. Okay, I have to swatch them. Okay, so this is humble and this is Sige. Sige, it's chan. It's chance. It feels so strange to say it because it is a Swedish name. Sige. Um. Our car is named Siegfried. Yes, I have named my car. In my family we have always... Okay, side note. In my family we have always named our cars after the day that we have bought them. And because we have Namstager in Sweden, it's the name of the day. And the day me and my boyfriend bought our car, it was Siegfried. So our car is named Siegfried and I call our car Sigan or Sige. Okay, so I know. So, okay. Humble or Sige? I think... Okay, I will take Humble. So, this one. And I maybe should have stayed true to my car. Do you have a name on your car? For your bike? I haven't named my bike, but I have a electric scooter that is named Lennart. Okay, so I'm going to put on some mascara and also, and I'm also going to use Calm Mood from Linda Holberg in my waterline. This is the green one. And put on some mascara and shoes a lipstick. And I maybe I have no idea what I'm going to use. So I will fix the last things and I will also spray my face with some siding spray. So when you see me next time, I am finished. And now the hand comes again. So the look is done and for lips I took NYX Liquid Suede in Soft Spoken. This is one of my all-time favorite liquid lipstick both in texture <laughs> both in formula and color wise so 
This is my second look with the Paulina blush tray palette. I like this look. I like this fingling. It's so popping in there and I think it was a good thing to take the green on the lower lash. So this is the finished second look with the Paulina palette and now we have one look left. So it is time for look number three with Paulina and blush tray palette and this look I want to do something purple and pink. So I'm going to start with my crease and I'm going to take Aubergine this dark shade and also Angel this light pink and put Aubergine on my outer crease and Angel in my inner crease. And this Aubergine is very very pigmented. I don't want so much color. And it it has been so fun to play with this palette. First, I did my first impression um I think the same day that I got the palette. And then I was like, I'm going to do a free looks one palette with it. And then I was like, I didn't felt that I had the time to do it. So when Annette asked me if we should do with this palette, I was like, hell to the yeah. And then I'm going to take Angel, slight pink, and put it in the rest of my face. And then I'm taking a smaller blending brush. Smaller, smaller, but it, it is pointier. Let's put it in here. Then I will take Paulina, this pink shade, and put it um, on my lid, like onto here. Or something, and this is such a nice dark, darker pink. It is not super dark, but it's kind of dark, and it is so easy to work with. And this also, I think that Paulina and Aubergine they feel a little bit drier than the other shades, the matte shades. And also, I think it's humble. I have cat hair in my mouth that are a little bit drier, but they perform so freaking good. So, just feel a little bit dry, but they are not dry. Not at all. And then I will take Soma, this purple. I have such a hard time with purple and pink and I don't know why. I'm going to take the purple one, Thalma, that is a little bit shimmer and put it on a large brush and just deepen it down a little bit out here. And also to give it some, just not like a totally matte look. And I really want to smudge it out into Paulina. And I really love this palette that it's so easy to work with. You don't have to blend for ages because who wants to do that? Not me at least. So maybe something like that. And first I was like, I'm going to take Angel in here as well, but I think I have changed my mind. So I will just take some more of Paulina. Darker pink. And just ease out this transition here a little bit. I will take this solely and put it in here. I think that can be more fun. And take Angel. And I really want to tap this off. Okay. Now I don't want such a harsh line here. And 
do you see this? It's so easy to... Just put on. No glitter glue or nothing like that. Okay, so it feels like the pink almost disappeared. So I will go in with Pauline again. And just put it over. I will also go in with... I have brushes everywhere. Angel a little bit more in my crease. So it feels like it blurred it down a little bit here. So I will take away the fallouts, put on my base and then I will be back. And for my under eyes, I don't really know what I want to do. We will see. So I will be back and we we'll fix that together. So it's time for the under eyes and I think I will do almost the same. Okay, and I think for my waterline that I will take the same as my lower lash. So I'm going to take Daring Mood from Linda Halberg and also Boots from Colourpop. So Colourpop in here and then the Linda Halberg on the outer corner. So, something like that. And do I look even Steven? I think so. So I will put on some mascara and then for lips, I will do... I think I know what I will do. So I will put on mascara, lipstick, and then I will be back and I will pull up my arm. <laughs> I will talk a little bit about the palette. And uh, yeah, I will finish this video in all. So I will come back when I'm all fixed up. Fixed up when I'm all fixed. So I am back and for lips I did use two Jeffree Star lipstick. It's I am royalty and diva and I think it looks okay. Maybe it's a little bit pink just in middle but... I hope it is okay. And I wanted to do some strong lips with my strong eye because I like to do that and you're not supposed to do that. Okay, so this is the third look with the Pauline and Blush Tray palette. So what do I have to say about this palette? I love this palette. I feel inspired when I look at it even though it's not my favorite colors in here. But this French shade, it's like one of my absolute favorite colors ever. And the one thing I like, it's this palette. I don't have any palette that looks like this. And it inspires me even though I don't like purple or green that much, but I start to do that. So I am so happy that I got this palette. I am so sorry for you that did not get this palette because this is a wonderful palette. And that was all for this free looks one palette and thank you again Annette for doing a collab with me I love doing collab with you and this was really fun and I am so glad that you wanted to do this palette or that you asked me because I I wanted to work with this more but I haven't done it so I'm so glad that you picked this palette for us and it's going to be so fun to see what you have done and yeah I really hope you liked this video and this free looks one palette and don't forget to check out Annette. She is one of my best friends here on YouTube and I really love her and she is such a great friend. So I will leave her channel up here, it has already been here, her video and also down in the description. So don't forget to check Annette out because she is amazing and I will see you in the next video. Bye!